I just want to know a little bit about you, Dan Aziz, and hot yoga. <laughs> it wasn't me that passed out, by the way. But yeah. I don't believe you. Yeah, we're both, we're both good fighters. Um, he's a good fighter, I'm a good fighter, so I think you're going to see a good clash of styles. Um, it will gel well, and I think everyone's in for, in for a good fight, and we're both prepared to dig deep and you know, go all the way, so it should be good. Uh, I got into the sport a bit differently. So I grew up, obviously, in my estate. My brother bought gloves from uh, Nine Elms Market. And we used to scrap in the area. So that's that was my first introduction to boxing, just scrapping in the area. So there was no technique, just gloves and a head guard and just getting out. We'd even wear gumshoes actually. Like, I was just in and out of the gym at first, but then like the coach kept telling me you're good, you're good. So that also helped as well. Some encouragement from obviously coaches and stuff helps. But like when I went into the gym, like as much as I was like uncomfortable and stuff, outside and I thought I was that guy. So when I was getting in there, I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, hold on, I, I gotta get one back. But obviously you never do until you learn the actual technique and how to actually box because it's not October Red Boxing here with Denzel Bentley, who goes up against Linus Eudolfia, debuting on Channel 5 with Wasserman. Welcome to October Red Boxing and how are you? I'm good, thank you. How you been? Nice to finally meet you. <laughs> it's nice to finally meet you as well. But before we get into boxing conversations, I just want to know a little bit about you, Dan Aziz and Hot Yoga. <laughs> it wasn't me that passed out, by the way. But yeah. I don't believe you. I promise it But Dan introduced me to hot yoga and I've been going ever since and it is quite good. It's, it's mad relaxing, helps me with my stretches and all that stuff. But it's good, it's good. It, it was all Dan's idea. But when I first went there, I had a mare, but I didn't pass out. But it is good. It's all right, your secret's safe with Dan. He didn't rat no one else out either. But we're going to move on to this fight. It's a title fight with Linus Udolf, who's no stranger to Wasserman, one of their fighters. Tell us a little bit about your style and his style and how they're going to collide in the ring. Yeah, we're both, we're both good fighters. Um, he's a good fighter, I'm a good fighter, so I think you're going to see a good clash of styles. Um, it will gel well and I think everyone's in for, in for a good fight and we're both prepared to dig deep and you know, go all the way, so it should be good. I've watched Linus fight live uh, when he's uh, been on the Wasserman on the Sky Sports shows. Uh, I call him, a, he's quite technical in his style, he's, he's a good boxer. Tell us a little bit about your style and what we can expect from you. Yeah, um, I can fight. Like, whatever you know, that's been asked of me, I can, I can do, I believe. I think I can box. Um, my record shows I can punch. So, yeah. I want you to describe your style for me, though. I want you to, I want to get into the detail, because um, when I go home, yeah. I'm going to be comparing the two styles. It's what I do. Yeah, then you have to compare it, and you tell me what you think my style is, you know what I'm saying? Because I can say anything and be like, oh, I'm the next Floyd, and then it's like, you go back and think, really, this guy's deluded. So I leave it to you to, to compare, look, look at my fights and see what you see there and see what you think you can, you know, put together between the two of us and stuff. You mentioned about power. Power is something that is important in boxing, as is the boxing brain when you get in there. How do you adapt to your opponents and how do you suss them out when you get in the ring? Let's say, for example, the opening rounds. What is it that you look for as a boxer? I just look for, you know, their timing, their speed and, you know, um, other little things, maybe their power as well. So I would take my time and, you know, suss out what I can get gauge from that and then I step on the gas from there. We like that, stepping on the gas, upping up the levels. But just to go back a little bit, like I said, I've never had you on it as a guest on the channel, which I'm privileged to have and welcome again. Boxing and you then, give us a little bit of an overview, a little bit of a history of how you got involved in the sport and why the fans should get behind you. Uh, I got into the sport a bit differently. So I grew up obviously in my estate. My brother bought gloves from uh, Nine Elms Market and we used to scrap in the area. So that's, that was my first introduction to boxing, just scrapping in the area. So there was no technique, just gloves and a head guard, and just getting out. We'd even wear gumshoes, actually, just getting at it. And then uh, when I got to college, I met a friend that actually boxed, and he took me to his amateur gym. I got beat up a few times, and then I just kept going, and then that's how I kind of got into boxing. And, uh, yeah. It tests your heart, doesn't it? But coming from someone that used to say, for example, fight on the streets, it will teach you that grit, that, those basics. So when you went into the boxing gym, like you said, yeah, okay, I got beat up a couple of times, but you stuck at it. Tell us about the importance of sticking at something that you really want to do. Yeah, no, it's very important. It's like I was in and out of the gym at first, but then like the coach kept telling me, you're good, you're good. So that also helped as well. Some encouragement from obviously coaches and stuff helps. But like when I went into the gym, like as much as I was like uncomfortable and stuff, outside and I thought I was that guy. So when I was getting in there, I'm like, no, no, hold on. I've got to get one back. But 
obviously you never do until you learn the actual technique and how to actually box because it's not a fight as I used to think it was. And then obviously you start learning and then as soon as I realised, well, I like this and I actually want to do it and I was speaking to the coaches and he was saying, oh, you could fight here and there. Then I took more of an interest to it, dedicated myself to it more and, you know, progressed quite, quite fast. And that dedication, how important is it to have that dedication? We often hear people talking about they live the life, but then you'll see them out drinking and partying. Tell us a little bit about your philosophy, your ethos, and do you live the life of a boxer? Yeah, it's, it's not it's not easy. It's easier said than done. Like everyone says, you got to live the life. But at the same time, you like to enjoy and you know let your hair down a little bit. Everyone's got friends that do other things, so you just got to surround yourself with people that are on the same journey, whether it's boxing or not. Like just people that are focused on what they're doing. So if someone's you know a footballer or maybe goes to uni and stuff, they won't be doing some of the you know outrageous things that your friends that are doing nothing are doing. So you want to keep around them, keep a level head, you know, dedicate yourself. Like you said, live the life. And living a life goes everything from sleeping, eating, going to training, not taking too much time off and just looking after your body as well. And how hard is it, like you said, one of the key things there, because I'll go to the gym, I train myself. How hard is it to get back in that gym when you do have, say, that one or two days off when you're so used to training all the time? It's very hard. It's, it's hard. It's, it is so hard. Like, you just take a little bit of time off and you feel like you're back to square one. <laughs> you feel like, oh, hold on. I was just the other day I was smashing this and now I'm, I'm dead again. But it is hard, especially when you're just having back-to-back -back hard sessions. Like, to even get up after a hard session and go back in the gym, you feel like, oh, I need a day off. But you've got to get your body used to it. Your body gets conditioned to it and eventually you'll be all right. But at first, it is, it is very hard. Even now, it's still hard. But, you know what I'm saying, your body's conditioned to it, yeah. And what does it mean to you, obviously, being part of the Wasserman Show, you know, debuting, well, their debut on Channel 5, Terrestrial TV, everyone's eyes is going to be on this, a free channel where all have got access. What does that mean to you? Yeah, no, it's, it's a good opportunity, you know what I'm saying, for, for everyone to, you know, it's free TV, like you said, everyone can just tune in, people that can't make it, they ain't got to start streaming links to family on BT, so it'll be on, it'll be on Channel 5, it's good to be a part of their first show. Um, and it, it looks good. it's a good setup so far for this press conference, but yes, yeah, so no, it's, it's, it's good. I'm, I'm honoured to be a part of it. And we're honoured to have you to be a part of it. Listen, the queue's pulling up. I can feel the eyeballs in my neck. We're going to carry this on. This will not be the first. This won't be the last. I want to try and jump on a live with you and Dan as well. I want to I want to hear some of those secrets in the gym. <laughs> yeah, no, that would be good. That would be good. Dan's a funny guy, so that would be good. October Red Boxing. Until the next time, thank you. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.